Hey, fourth grade, how's it going? Teacher Joseph here. Today is Monday, September 7th, 2020. Today we're going to be using our fourth grade A book, Prime Math, page 110 through 115. Let's just quickly look at page 109, which we did last time, just so we can understand the concept a little bit better. Today, boys and girls, you'll notice that we are going to measure, estimate, draw angles and relate those angles to a compass rose and the directions on the compass rose. Okay, so let's jump right in. Page 109, you had to measure these angles. Okay, so if you took your compass, for example, and you set it up right on that angle measurement right there, you can see right here it says about 63.7. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but 63.7 is approximately 64 degrees, all right? So you should have put 64 in this blank right here, 64 degrees, okay? Let's try the next one. Um, if you saw that the protractor goes right here on the letter E, I'm going to put it right on that vertex, right about there, okay? And you move these rays so that they measure the angle. You can see this angle, I'm not sure if you can see that, but the angle measurement should be approximately 120, okay? Can you see that number right there, 120? Not sure if you can see it, it's kind of small, and I can't make it any bigger, 120 degrees, okay? So this one should have been 120 degrees, and letter D, should have been 64 degrees. Okay, so make sure you check those to make sure that they're correct. All right, we're going to go on to page 110 just so we can keep working on these types of problems. Okay, so we're going to actually skip 110. Sorry. If you wanted to see page 110 and do it on your own, you're more than welcome to. You're, you'll notice that there's different angle measurements for each one of these things, okay? So for example, a crane and a house and a road and a door, okay? So go ahead and measure those angles if you'd like, and you can work on this page if you want and check your answers right there, okay? We're not going to be working on that page, but you can check your answers if you want to. So let's go to page 111. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to measure this line and then put it, put the ray on the correct dot. So the first one's already been done for you. This is a 50 degree angle. So if we put our different rays on the screen, we can notice that this is indeed 50 degrees. Okay, let me just line that up a little bit better. Right there. Okay, you can see that black line right there, 50 degrees, okay? Let's do the next one, 60. Let me move that over. All right, so my vertex is going to be right there, okay? And I'm going to move my line right there, parallel with that line. And then my green ray needs to go to 60. So I'm gonna move it all the way until I get to 60. Where is the 60? Right about, oh, right about there, okay? So our line, boys and girls, is going to go right about there. I think it's touching that third point. Okay, so let's, let's do a third point right about here. Okay, so your line should cross through that third point right there. There's 60 degrees. Okay, let's try the next one, letter B. Okay, letter B. Let's go and do letter B. Okay, letter B says that you need to try to find a, is this it? Here we go, letter B. You need to try to find an angle measurement that is 42 degrees. All right, so I'm going to set up my protractor on my vertex. I'm going to move one of my lines right here, so it's right on top of that one, and I need to move this other one so it's 42 degrees. I'm going to move this over until it gets to 42. 42 should be right about 44, 42, right about there, okay? So if your line continues to 42 degrees, 
right about there is where your line should be. It should pass through the second dot. Okay, so there was a dot right here, and there was a dot right here, and then there were two more dots right here and here. So it should pass through that second dot, which was 42 degrees. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, this one's supposed to go to 18 degrees. So let's try to find 18 degrees. That one's a much smaller angle. This is an acute angle. So here's my first line, right? Let me move that over just a little bit more so that it's right on top of my dot. Okay, and then I'm going to move my protractor so that it shows me 18 degrees. So moving this over until it gets to 18 on the top. Can you see it? 18.4, 17.6. I think that's probably the closest I'm going to get it. 18, right about there. 17.8, that's approximately 18. Okay, let's move my ray up to 18. It's going to go through that second point right there. Okay. Right about there, 18. Okay. Good. I would like you to do letters D and E on your own, boys and girls. Can you try letters D and E on your own? Pause the video and see if you can do these on your own. All right. Hopefully you pause the video. What we're going to do is we're going to move this protractor so that we can, oops, so that we can try to control where 55 degrees is. So, oops, one more time. <laughs> Let's erase that. Here we go. Okay. Move my protractor over so it's right on top of this line and right on top of this line. This time it's 55 degrees. So it's going to be approximately right. 55, right about there, I think. Can you see it on the screen? 55.6, 54.5, that's approximate, okay? Good, let me draw my line. So, touching my ray and then going right through that protractor, okay? Now on the screen, it shows going through the third dot, but my 55 degree angle goes through the last dot, that, that one way on the top. That's okay, as long as you um, come pretty close, okay? All right, and letter E is a little bit different. Okay, this one is flipped. That angle is the opposite direction. So we're going to move my protractor over, line it up with my ray, Line up my first ray right there, and my second ray should be on 47 degrees. So I'm going to look at my protractor to see where 47 is. It should be right about there, I think. Yeah, right about there. So let's draw our line. 47 is right about there. Kind of goes through that second dot from the bottom. Okay. All right, cool. Nice job. Well, we learned a little bit more about measuring angles with a protractor. Let's go ahead and head on to the next part of the page. Okay. I'm going to erase everything and let's go on to that next part. We're going to actually skip page 111, the rest of 111, 112, and 113. You could do that on your own if you really want to, boys and girls. And I'm, I'll just put quickly put the, the answers up on the screen if you wanted to see where they were. Okay, those are the answers for those pages if you wanted to see the answers. But we're not going to go through them in class. You can pause the video and check them on your own. All right, good. We're going to go to page 114. On page 114, what we're going to do is we're going to see how, oh, here's some couple of students that did this in class, showing your answers there. All right. On page 114, what we're going to do is we're going to understand the turns of the angle measurements, okay? So if we turn, for example, let me put that right here. If we turn this, we start out at, at zero, for example, okay? And we do 
We're going to start out at zero, both of them. And we do one turn. That's called one turn. We're at 90 degrees. If we do two turns, that's at 180 degrees. Three turns is at 270 degrees. And four turns is at 360. You don't see it on the top, but that's 360. Okay? So let's actually practice doing this on the next page. Inside of page 114, we're going to count the number of right turns. All right? We're going to figure out the fraction for what that represents and do the angle measurement. Okay? So let me show you. When we went from here to here to here, that was considered two turns. Okay? Those turns, boys and girls, are half turns, all right? So we're going to actually write that on the board. That's a half turn because we went halfway around our circle. The angle measurement, as you can see, is 180 degrees. You can see that right there, 180 degrees, okay? Which is 90 degrees plus 90 degrees. We did a 90 degree angle plus another 90 degree angle which gave us 180 degrees. Let's look at the next problem. All right, the next problem has us looking at another angle. So if we take a look at this, uh, my protractor doesn't actually go down there, so I'm just going to have to do it with the, the pencil, which is fine. If we start right here and we go one turn, okay, that's only considered one right angle. All right, you see my right angle right here? That's also considered a fourth turn, okay? Because remember, inside of a circle, we have four right angles. You see that? One, two, three, four right angles. You can see those four right in the middle. One, two, three, four right angles. So this is just one fourth. You can see that one fourth looks exactly like this one fourth that's right here on the screen. Okay? And that's also considered 90 degrees. Okay? We only went 90 degrees from here to here. Okay? Let's go to the next problem, letter C. Letter C says uh, what is the the turn and the angle measurement for this one right there. Well, let's write that on the screen. Okay, so we started from here and we went one, two, three turns. This is also considered three fourths because we have four total, but we only went four times. You can see those four right on the screen. Ready? One, two, three times out of the four. So that's considered three-fourths of a turn. Okay. Now if we count 90 plus 90 plus 90, we'll come up with 270 degrees. Pause the video and see if you can do letter D on your own. Okay, so letter D is Pretty simple, I guess. Let's see if you can do this. If you take your protractor and you go from here to here to here to here and then all the way, it's not going to let me do it, all the way here, okay, those are actually four turns. So you should have done four turns right there. All right. Now, what does that mean? If we go all the way around, boys and girls, split this up into four sections. We start here. We go one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, and we come right back to where we started. That's considered four fourths, or it's also considered one full turn because four fourths are equal to one, right? If you have a pizza and you split your pizza into four sections, you don't have four pizzas, you have one pizza. That's the same thing as four pieces of one pizza. Okay, so you can either put four fourths in this blank 
or one. Either one is fine. So we have four turns. We have one, I'm sorry, four right angles. We have one turn. And how many degrees was that angle measurement? Well, if we remember, 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is what we're trying to find out, which is 360 degrees. Make sure you check your answers to make sure that these ones are correct. Let me show you all the answers one more time so you guys can understand this concept. All right, so here are your answers one more time. All right, you'll notice that the, the more the path goes, for example, this one goes the whole way around, it's 360 degrees. If it only goes for a really short path, for example, this one, it's only 90 degrees. So the shorter the path, the shorter amount of angle measurement. The longer the path, the bigger the angle measurement and the more turns we have to do. Okay, let's go on to the next page. In the next page, boys and girls, what you're going to have to do is understand the eight point compass rows. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you guys can understand this concept. When we look at a compass rose, we need to remember the four directions, mostly four, I should say, north, south, west, and east. There's also directions that are in the middle of north and east, which is northeast, in the middle of south and east, which is southeast, in the middle of west and south, or south and west, which is southwest, and the middle of north and west, which is northwest. You can also designate those by using just the first letters of the cardinal directions, okay? N is north, E is east, S is south, W is west. And then the two letters to signify the cardinal direction sets in the middle of the major directions, okay? Each one of these is considered a different degree measurement. So if you go from 0 to 90, you're going east. Okay, let's look at some other examples. You'll have to remember these cardinal directions to do the next page. Page 115. So we have to figure out where is the train station from Kevin's house. Well, if Kevin's house is right here, the train station is right north. Okay, so if you take a look at that cardinal direction, that was eight point compass, we're going directly north. Okay, again, north is straight up. Okay, what about the bus station? Where is the bus station in comparison to Kevin's house? Well, here's Kevin's house. Oh, where's the, oh, there it is, bus station. We went down. In other words, we went south, okay, south. So let's do the third one together, the library. Where is the library? From Kevin's house, would we go up? Mm, kind of. Would we go to the right or east? Kind of. Actually, we're going up and to the right, which is the same thing as saying north and east or northeast. So for this library blank, you're going to put northeast. Let's write some of those answers in the blank. Okay. So remember, from the bus stop, from Kevin's house, the bus stop was south. So let's write south on that first blank. Okay. And from Kevin's house, the library was northeast. Good. OK. What about the school? Where is the school from Kevin's house? The school is east. So we're just going to put east. OK. So write that in there. OK, now you'll notice there's a lot of blanks that are still missing. Mr. Joseph will show you that in just a second. So check your answers on these first couple. OK, what you're going to do, boys and girls, is you're going to use your protractor in the next couple of pages, and you're going to try to figure out which direction, oops, which direction each one of these things is, right? They're going to be moving around the compass to see where these places are in comparison to Kevin's house, which is right 
smack dab in the middle. Okay, so let's actually go to the next page. Take a look at these. You're going to do these on your own. Pause the video to see if you can figure out where the stadium is, the hospital, the supermarket, and the swimming pool. All right, hopefully you pause the video. I'm going to show you the answers on the screen. Here are the answers from the last exercise on page 115. Check your answers to make sure that they're correct. All right, boys and girls, thank you very much for coming to class. Today we learned how to use cardinal directions. We're measuring different angles and their turns and equating that to the angle measurements that we've been using for the protractor and other types of angles. You were able to draw angles today, and you were able to figure out where the rays go and which points they cross over by using a protractor and understanding angle measurements a little bit better. So thank you very much for coming to class, and we will see you guys next time. Bye, boys and girls. Have a great day.